Here's how I understand prophecy. Here's how I understand how it works. I wish someone had explained this to me when I started out. And somehow I, I, I didn't get it, I missed it. Uh, you don't read ticker tape. Wouldn't it be easy if you could just read it, thus saith the Lord, and you could just read it as a script in front of you. That doesn't happen. We say we heard from the Lord, but technically we're not hearing anything. It's not like this voice, this, wouldn't it be something if you had this nice, big, booming, male, masculine voice speaking and all you had to do is echo that. That would make it so easy. Here's how prophecy works, is you actually see something. And it's faster than the shutter on a camera. It's, you see it and it's gone. You see it, it it'd be nice if it just stuck there, like a television screen, and you could look at it and really take it in but the way it happened for Jeremiah here and the way it happens to me, and I believe, I believe it's safe to say this is how it always happens, is you see it and it's gone. Now you have to say it. You have to say what you saw. That's not easy. It's not like it's hanging there where you can say what you saw. You have to, with the, out of the integrity of your heart, you have to say what you saw without adding to it or taking anything away from it. And, and um, Jeremiah, Jeremiah literally saw a glimpse of something. And when I prophesy over someone or pray prophetically over someone, there's this, a thought, an idea that comes and it's gone. And now I have to say that thought. I have to say that idea. It's, it's kind of like an inspired idea. It's not even a vision. Some people describe it as a vision. It's, it's technically, probably technically a vision, uh, but because there's an element of seeing, but it's, it's more like an idea. It's an idea that comes and it's gone, and you have to recall it, you have to say it, and when you say it, usually application, what we see here where he says, yes, and it shall come from the, the calamity shall come from the north. As you say it, then oftentimes uh, an application of what that means or how that applies to the person will come. When it doesn't, there's a real tendency to kind of make it up or kind of say what you think it means. And that's where if I've made, if I've made mistakes in this whole thing, it's, it's there. I tend to make most of my mistakes in application or timing when I think the Lord's, uh, the Lord's saying this, so he must want to do this right now. Of course, you want it to happen right now. Um, but to say what you saw, uh, that's, that's not easy. It's not easy. But that's the key to prophecy. After you say what you saw, sometimes you get application. Sometimes you see something else. Another picture will come. If you don't say the first picture, you'll never get the second picture. And so... Uh, uh, if I miss it, I don't beat myself up. I don't get into uh, self-condemnation because that doesn't do any good. Then I got to dig myself out of that hole to get back to where I can prophesy again. So I, I, just, I just work with the Lord in terms of a personal relationship and talk with Him. And, and He is incredibly patient. But I notice when I step out and I say, take the risk and say what I saw, then I see something else and then I'll see something else. And sometimes it'll happen, I'll get three or four things for a person. And uh, rather than one long prophecy, I just give four short ones, little, little bursts of something. And, um, but that's how I understand how prophecy works. And I think we should all experience it. I think it's something that is available for all of us without a gift of prophecy and without becoming a prophet. I think all of us can see things, all of us can say things. Uh, all of us can go to our prayer closet and, and pray for a friend and see something as we're praying for our friend and then go to them and say, I was praying for you today when I was praying for you. I saw this and I just want to let you know. Is that prophecy? Well, it's an answer to prayer. It's, it's part of praying. It's part of intercession. But it should be happening to us all, all the time. It's interesting when I'm preaching and I'm preaching prophetically, People will come up to me and they say, when you were preaching, I saw this and I saw that and I was going to speak it out. Well, I think, I think what it is is when you're hearing prophetic preaching, it just sparks all kinds of stuff. The Spirit 
goes off in us and you start seeing things, it doesn't necessarily mean you're to relay that verbally to the audience. I just think we're sparking. I just think there should, we should have some sparky meetings. And when, you, when someone speaks, stuff should be going off in our hearts. Write it down, keep track of it, but it doesn't necessarily mean you should stop the meeting and get up and prophesy it. We should be sparky. Amen.